you suck at learning languages, but why? In this video, we're going to be going over that and what you're doing wrong and how to fix it. Also, how to become fluent. For reference, I go by Globe Laddie here, and I'm an American who grew up only speaking English. But now I can speak Spanish and French fluently with other languages at various degrees. Here's how I did it. All three of the languages that I speak have been learned through three different methods. First, English I learned through my parents, at school, and everyone around me speaks English. Spanish I learned by living abroad in Mexico for 19 months, and I was immersed in the culture. I basically had to learn a language to survive. It's French that I want to talk about. So three years ago, I decided to learn French. French the traditional American method with a teacher. I learned basics of course, but I wasn't committed to these three things. Consistency, various methods, and speaking. When I say consistency, I don't mean you have to study several hours a day to achieve results because the likelihood that you're busy like me, it's going to be hard to find time to learn a language. What I mean is studying a certain amount of time nearly every single day. For example, take French. For the last two and a half years, almost every single day, I've studied with a language partner. Now we're going to get back on the speaking in a little bit, but the consistency is key. Every single morning, I have the same routine. I wake up, I talk with a language partner for about an hour, and then I go back onto my daily routine. Now, this method has been successful for me, but it might not be successful for everyone else. That's why we have various methods. Because in my opinion, too many people on YouTube claim to have the magic method for language learning, but I think it's all bullshit. Everyone learns differently, including me. I'm by no means a language expert, but watching YouTube videos, writing out sentences covering topics I like to learn in my target language, and using apps like Pimsleur and italki are what I consider to be my preferred ways of learning languages. When choosing content to watch on YouTube, normally I just look at my interests and then search it in my target language. As well, if you can find videos that have subtitles in English, great. If not, you're probably not going to understand a lot, especially in the beginning. But the reason I do this is to get my ears trained and familiar with the sounds. As well, it helps me be more excited for the language because I know what it's actually being used for. Writing out sentences to explain this a little bit better, I like to take subjects that I'm passionate about or that I am a big fan about. For example, let's take swimming, something that I like to do for fun and I want to learn how to use that in a different language. Let's take Spanish. For example, in Spanish, if I want to say, I would like to swim today. Hoy me gustaría nadar. We have those four different words. Of course, it's just a sentence, but we have today, me would like to swim. And that bleeds over into conversation. Of course, that's a little bit simplified version of what I'm explaining, but learning sentences rather than learning word by word, you're able to expand your knowledge and your vocabulary much quicker by learning those phrases and sentences. So now we have content chosen, sentences made, and we're ready to take it to the next step. I mentioned that I use Pimsleur, and basically that takes those two things and combines it into one. You'll hear audio that you're not familiar with, you've never used those words, but by the end of the lesson, you have more vocabulary and you're able to have a better conversation. And this is what I do to be prepared to use speaking apps like italki. By using those phrases and using those words, I hear them repeat the same thing or use different ways of saying those words. And that gets put into your long-term memory. In conclusion, we increase the input in our target language, we learn sentences and not singular words, and we're gonna practice speaking with a language partner to put that into our long-term memory. Also, bonus tip, record yourself trying to speak the language so not only you can hear what you sound like, but so you can also cringe at yourself when months down the road you've improved and you can hear that terrible accent you used to have. J'ai 20 ans. Je m'ai étudié le long. J'ai un chameau et nous parlons espagnol. Yeah, it was really bad. <laughs> If you learned anything from this video, please give it a like and subscribe, as well as comment down below what you'd like me to talk about as far as language learning. This is something that I'm very passionate about, and I'd love to make new videos about it going forward. Thank you so much for watching, and have a good day.